Hi and welcome back to the second episode of our run through with um, Fountain of Youth. So where we are is we found the cave. Uh, we made a basic bed. We made uh, some basic storage to start with. So let's start putting things away. Actually, I'm going to make another one here because we are going to run out of space in the storage very, very quickly. So we're just going to go crafting buildings and just another box made of branches. So E, space bar, build. So it's only 1% chance of injury during the day. Stones, I'm actually going to just drop these. They're quite heavy. I'm going to put the leaves over here. You can drag or right mouse click and it does one at a time. So I'm just going to use this as a dumping box for now. Actually, um, yeah, I'm going to destroy this. Because we need to make another one. Because we used up our first one yesterday, if you remember. I'm going to keep these on us. I'm going to put this in here along with all just wooden items in here for now. Everything else in there for now. Now I want five of these and two sticks. So there's our two sticks. And let's go get some more. Just any old tree here should work. So I'm going to take the... Um, I'm going to take all of them, so it's just E, F, space bar. So E, F, space bar. Alright, we've got six of them there. Because what I want to do is I want to make, um, if you just click on the yellow leaves here and go blueprints, then this comes up, a smoke signal. Now you can't place it in the cave, it has to be outside, so just as close to the entrance as possible. There we go done and if you press e on this you can see that it lasts for 41 days if we um let's just add a couple of sticks if you go r for add fuel then you see it jumps up to 79 days so this will basically burn forever if you put a few sticks on there next thing we're going to do is go in the cave and just uh, pick up a few loose things so there were three things actually three yellow leaves there we could have gone for but we're going to need more. Uh, mushrooms don't bother with. There's no point. So you've got to deal with these guys. Uh, so we've got the spear. Don't get too close. Just take them out. So there should be three. And they will respawn. Bunch of sticks here. Bunch of loose items here. Now we are going to have uh, need of a bone later in the game. If you just go to G on here and dismantle this. It only takes five minutes and it gives you a bone. Now we should find some bones um, on the floor in various locations, so we're not going to bother with that for now, but just know that it's there. you got this thing here called Living Water. And I think there's a note here, a note about Living Water, which you can read. Then you have this other note here, which um, kicks you off into another cutscene. Again, if you're following this story, watch it, but I'm just going to press and hold S and skip this just for this video. And it gives you a letter to read as well, which I'm also going to skip. So here, if you press E, you're going to get something called... Well, it gives you a new goal, Forgotten Spyglass. And it kind of tells you where it is. So you're right here in the cave, and you have to go all the way down the beach, or this way. And it's going to be on this the end of this kind of spit here. It's not something we have to do immediately. And then press E again on this thing that's highlighted. And then E on that map. Done. So we're kind of finished here. There are a couple of coconuts we can pick up. You've got this jojoba gum, which you can use as tinder for a fire. Now, you've got this fire given to you right here but the trouble is if you use it for cooking or anything as mentioned those um those scorpions respawn so you could be happily cooking away here next thing you know is uh, scorpions respawn and is stinging you so what we want to do here is just go g change and just go move and then we can do all our cooking here where the scorpions aren't going to bother us and then just eat for place so as far as the fire is concerned, E interaction. If you want uh, want to upgrade it, we're going to need some clay. So we're not at that stage yet. 
fire is the same with the um, smoke signal we just put in art add fuel so nine hours we'll use that up quicker now now another thing we want to do is given that we have um i'm just going to put some coconuts away here so just looking at our food and health first actually um what we're going to do is these green coconuts if you go blueprints you can craft these green co opened green coconuts here and then what these ripe coconuts do blueprints so they give you food so now if we just go tab so we have some drink here which will increase us from there to there as you can see by the green and we've also got some food which puts us from there to there so done so there are some coconuts here, which we want to pick up. Let's do that. That's more food and water if we need it. But we have this thing here. And if we go G change, what we want to do is disassemble this. And it gives us these two things, two big branches and a liana rope and confirm. So then what we want to do is if you go to the ripe coconut and go blueprints, it gives you the option of making this coconut flask here. If you click on that, it's one liana, which we just picked up from dismantling what we just dismantled, and a ripe coconut, which we have, and go craft. So now go tab, go to your coconut flask, go blueprints again, and we've got the option to make this coconut rainwater collector. And we are one liana short. We've got all of the ingredients apart from the one liana. So let's go place. Has to be out in the rain. Can't put it inside. So I just put it there, I guess. E. So E interaction, space bar. Places all of the things. Apart from we need one rope. But we did pick up this liana the other day. So right mouse click just moves one. And we need one of these as well. Um, Go on the liana blueprints and there we go we can make the rope that we need so we can complete all of the ingredients now so just go e space bar everything's in there it's going to take two hours to make but we have no suitable hammer so we have to make a hammer tab again crafting and you just look for this tab third down tools and you've got a wooden hammer there. Now for a wooden hammer, we need a big branch, which we conveniently got from that thing we disassembled. Small stick, which we can't craft. Done. Puts us to level one crafting. Okay. Then we can go back to here and go E, build. And now we have, oh, we've got a survival point for that as well. And now we've got our rainwater collector. So if we just go tab here, we can see that we're, that's the end of the second day already. And all we did is basically put this up and do a couple of things inside there. That's how quickly this game moves. Um, so let me see. There is a big stone over here, which um, let's go just grab this for now. Now the stones weigh a lot, so I tend not to put them into the uh, containers. And just, we've got two stones there. So I'm just going to drop this one here. So now we're just going to cook a few things which are going to require these wide leaves here. So I'm just going to take those. Um, so let's make um, some meds as well. Going to need those, I think. Yeah, that'll do for now. All right. So what we want to do for a fire is uh, you go into go tab. Let's pick up some sticks. Go stick blueprints. And then if you look down, you should see that you have the option to make this thing, primitive torch, only takes one stick. So craft that. Go to the primitive torch, spacebar equips it. And then all you have to do is just walk up to your fire and then just use the uh, mouse wheel in the middle of your mouse. I uh, don't know why that changed there. Um, well, let's try that again. Let's equip it. 
use the mouse wheel and it lights the torch and then all you have to do is walk up to the fire and go e space bar ignite so you don't have to have tinder all tinder does in this situation is speed up how long it takes to light the fire so it's normally 12 minutes but because we have that jojoba gum it only took seven and then it's mouse wheel put your torch out and then we're cooking so we want to do a couple of things before we go back to sleep and that is e so we, let's just make sure we do have some sticks. Let's grab a couple more. So we want some charcoal because we want to do some mapping. We saw that um, mapping tree yesterday. So I'm just going to go. We've got a chance of injury 1%. So I'm going to go for um, just eight of those. Next. Now, you saw that risk of injury there. Pretty much anything we do has a risk of injury. If you get injured, you have to take one of these because your injury will be a minor cut. And if you get a minor cut, what you need is one of these steam leaf bandages. So we can make a couple of those because we expect a couple of injuries throughout the playthrough. Well, more than a couple, actually. Now, what else? Uh, we did pick up some scorpions there, some dead scorpions. Now, using that, using a wide leaf and a scorpion, we could also make one of these. We are likely to get bitten by a snake at some point. If we do, we have to take one of these meds. So let's make one of those. Tobacco compress. As you can see down here, if we get sunburn, burn, or anything like that, then this is going to require one of these. And we did pick up some tobacco leaves. And we've also no longer got any wide leaves. So we can make that some other times. Probably one of, well, the lesser in terms of importance there so let's put the fire out anyway uh, so g for extinguish and let's just um convert this blueprints craft and let's just make some food out of there blueprints craft let's just eat drink and then go to bed so space bar eat space bar eat Right, we're not going to gain any health here, but um, we don't need to because you see this thing here, the red bar? That means that our maximum health has been capped. Um, well, let's just sleep first and then we'll do that in the morning. So six hours will take us to the morning. It doesn't fully put all our energy back. Anyway, let's go back to here. So our maximum health is capped but we can remove that by using the living water that we found, which will also restore our health. So let's do that. And that puts us to here. All right, now we don't need to carry the bandages with us. Um, if we get a cut or something, we'll deal with it then. We don't need to carry that. Actually, it's wood. I'm just going to put all the wooden items in here for now. We'll get organized later. Not right now. So as we saw, we are out of those wide leaves. So that's something we need to pick up today. So we want to be carrying our iron spear. We don't need to be carrying our torch. We need the mapping charcoal. And um, we need an axe. For that, we're going to need a stone and a stick. So let's make another axe. Stone, blueprint, axe, craft. And let's take off and get a few other things. So it hasn't rained yet, so we haven't been able to deal with our thirst issue. So we're going to meet a dog in a second. But we have the spear. That's just a timing issue, because um, as you get close to them, they rush you, and it's just a question of, do you stab them before they take a nip out of you? Now, if they take a nip out of you, it's just 7% health loss, which isn't really an issue, because we'll get that back. So here he is, and it's just a timing issue in terms of uh, when you stab him. As mentioned, if you get that wrong, it's just 7% health, which is not really an issue. We're just going to grab this for the gathering skill. And we're going to head up. We're going to go right up here. Now here are some of those leaves. The wide leaves. We definitely want those. Gave us eight. Nice. And then we're going to head up here. Brings us to these trees. Now there is another entrance to the cave just there. 
I tend not to use it because um, we have to run the gauntlets with some scorpions there. So I tend to come up this way. So then you come to these trees here, which are going to give us more long sticks, which are probably worth gathering, but um, let's just deal with this dog as well. See if we get nipped this time. No. And then you've got these three trees here. You can find another dog. And that's three dogs. We can uh, eat those later on, cook them up and eat them. But you've also got these trees here. And you just press E. It gives you a bunch of oranges. And if you look at the oranges here, it gives you ten water and two food. We've got twelve of them. There is a timer on this. They will rot over time. But um, actually... Um, there's no real order to doing any of this stuff here, but I'm just going to do this while we're here. Because we are close to a bird's nest. And it will take us by another dog, I think. Yeah, there he is. So this will fill our stomach tonight. Come on. That's four dogs to eat. But it brings us to this bird's nest. And then as soon as you get close to a bird's nest, you're going to attack, get attacked by that guy up there. So he's just going to come in. Just wait, wait, wait. Okay. And then it's timing again. So he's down. So he'll give us um, another feather, which we want. You've got this trophy here, which at this stage, nah, not going to bother. Uh, some meat we can cook up and an egg. I'm just going to take the meat and the feather harvest. But main reason for coming over here was just to grab more feathers. Because we're going to be investing in bow skill later on. Oh, and this is going to be useful as well over here. This red plant gives us hibiscus. Now, as it rains and uh, we tend to get wet quite frequently, I'm going to leave him for now. Yeah, we tend to get wet quite frequently. And, um, oops, another one. All right, that's a lot of food for tonight. Now, these trees here, they just give us bark and small sticks. If you go F, there's no tool usage here. 19 minutes. Okay, we'll take one. We don't need bark until much later in the game. Let me see what time we've got. So it's already almost halfway through the day. Days go so quickly. So that was our orange trees there. Um, now the long sticks are going to be useful. Let's grab some of them. Until we're overweight, that is. So 20, chance of injury 1% because we're at daytime again. So our weight 43 we're not far off yeah i think that's basically it so we couldn't finish that tree there but what we can do in these situations uh you saw that our sun exposure is a little bit up we can just go crafting buildings and we could just drop down a box anywhere we want here and then we could just park some sticks in there pick them up later so e f yeah we still got some Stuff left on our X. So where are we? 34. We can take a little bit more. Which we probably don't need these till much later in the game. So we're going to leave them. Uh, 38.4, 39. That's probably good enough. So we do have some sun exposure here. So we're going to go over to the cartographer tree now. What time we got? We've got some daylight now left. Because we can't do that during the daytime during the night time we have to do it during the daytime but in the meantime uh, we do need more of these wide leaves there's a quick source here if we get over weight again we can just drop down a box and just park stuff for later so yeah we are getting heavy but cartographer tree as mentioned, we've got like 25 things to do in the first few days, and um, there's no real order. It's just um, kind of ticking one thing off after another. 
Oops, we've already placed the ladder, so we just have to go up. So I did leave some eggs in that nest, which should still be there. So we can grab those at our leisure. We don't really need them right now. We could take them and make fried eggs and stuff, but we don't necessarily need to do that. Um, let me see, can we get in the shade anywhere here? It's saying that we are in the sun everywhere up here. And that we can't get out the sun. All right. Okay, well, we have that tobacco compress back home, which we can use, but um, let's just go uh, M. Sorry, E to map, it says. E. And then spacebar mapping and start. And that uses one of our charcoal. Then it opens up the map here. Yeah, that groan there means that we've got sunburn. All right, so you can see there's the liana tree there. Now, we are going to run out of liana pretty quick, and there's another one here, but there's also a pig. And we're going to have to go killing pigs at some point. The weather affects your health, so that's just telling us we've got sunburn. All right, let's go home, deal with that. So just go into status. Um, let's see, are we in the shade here? I don't think it matters because we've got sunburn anyway. We just go tab and go to statuses. And we've got burning sun here. I'm under the open sun. My clothes do not provide complete sun protection. I should find shade or recover or I'll get sunburn. Okay, um, so it means we haven't got sunburn yet. All right, that's fine. So let's just run home, see if we get sunburn on the way. Because if we do get sunburn, not a problem. We already made that uh, compress that we had with the tobacco. And we can make more if we need to. So we're a little bit slow, but I'll see you back at the cave. And here we are back at the cave. All right, we've got a bunch of things that we could probably do. So let's just have a look at what we've got here. So let's just park a few things that we don't need to be carrying around. I'm going to hang on to... We don't need to be carrying that... We don't need the long sticks right now. All right, so let's get our primitive torch. Right mouse click moves it over. Space bar equip. Oops. So mouse wheel. Actually, I don't know how many sticks there are on here. Pump it up a bit. Okay, E. Oops. Sorry, E. Ignite. So we haven't got Tinder this time, but we don't need it. It just means that it's going to take a bit longer, 12 minutes. Mouse wheel, turn the torch out. All right, so what do we want to do here? Uh, just checking our status is sunburn. So it says take medicine, tobacco compress. So let's do that. Make a couple. Tobacco compress. Craft. So now we can deal with uh, the sunburn just by taking the tobacco compress. Done. So that's cured. All right, now cooking. Let's cook a few things. Uh, we did pick up some dogs. Let's cook all five of those. Picked up some meat. So we've got level one cooking. And anything else we want. Yeah, we could do with a couple of these as well. Uh, because we are going to get um, not five two will do for now because you get this st uh, status called runny nose um, every time it gets uh, you get soaked or not every time but very often when you get soaked and for that you need this um, this particular medicine here so if we get injured with cuts we've got this one if we get sunburn we've got this one if we get injured sorry if we get a runny nose we've got this one and if we get a snake bite we've got this one so we're pretty much covered now, anything else we want to do with the fire at this stage? I don't think so, so we're just going to extinguish it there. All right, now we still have lots of things to do. Now, E, can we upgrade this? We need three long sticks, and we did pick up a whole bunch of those, so let's do that. Upgrading the bed means that so there's no risk of injury. Sorry, E upgrade 57 minutes it's worth it 
but we have to move it. So either move, all right. Um, that will do there. E place, E interaction. Risk of injury 21%. Okay. Um, well, we need the bed, so we've got to do it. Build. Yep, we got it. So let's try again. Build. All right. So we got our first injury. If you go to status, you got minor cut. Tells you take medicine. Steam leaf bandage. Let's do that. But this bed means that um, we, re we recover much faster. So you get health re regen at three per hour. In the other bed, it was less than that. And um, so five hours is going to take us through to morning. So what we're going to do is just, uh, we made a bunch of food here. So let's uh, eat a few things. But also we picked up these oranges. Now each one is 10 water. So 71, 81, 91. Uh, they do rot, and we'll probably not get through all of them. So that gives us 100-100, no problem. So this doesn't fully restore all of our energy. But we can sleep a little bit longer if we want. That's probably enough there. So let's just sleep. Puts us through to day four. All right. So we got our bed made. Um, we got our water in place. Uh, food is not a problem. We'll just go get more if we need it gonna keep hold of the oranges for now so from the medicine viewpoint we're probably okay we've got 12 of these so what we want to do is grab all of the wide leaves and all of the narrow leaves and now um, just clicking through the long list of things we need to do let's just go crafting again we could have done this earlier but we didn't uh, but we're doing it now and let's make some more clothes so leaf hat we just need one of those so let's craft that it's just ask, puts it on immediately, so that's good. All right, crafting, back to clothes. Grass skirt, leaf skirt, takes four of these things, which is why we picked all those um, wide leaves up yesterday. And we're going to need some sandals, two and two. And that's pretty much it. So now we've got sun protection of 100%, so we're not getting exposed to any sun at all. And here comes the rain. So what can we do now when this fills up, it's going to give us 10 water, but it's going to evaporate. So what we want to do is actually, um, let's just harvest these coconuts here. And we want to make another coconut flask. So we just go into this uh, ripe coconut here, blueprints, coconut flask, but we need a rope. So pick one of our lianas. And you need one of these, yep. Okay, so now we can make our rope. Blueprints. Craft. Back to the coconut. Blueprints. Coconut flask. Craft. And now what we can do is we can go up to the rain collector, which is now up to 8 out of 10, so it's almost full. And we can go R to take, and it starts to transfer the water from here into our coconut flask. So that way um, it won't evaporate from the coconut flask. So we could actually do this a second time. So let's do that. Blueprints, craft. Back to the coconut. Blueprints, coconut flask, craft. So this is up to seven and we can keep going. So there we go, we got one full flask with uh, 10 drinks in there and each drink is going to bump us up by uh, five our water stats by five but as we can see we're already halfway through what is this day for you kind of lose count very very quickly but let's put the coconuts away actually um let's make yet another crafting buildings box made of branches At this stage, the inventory management and organization is um, it's kind of haphazard, but we sort it out later. So I'm just going to put that in there because this is going to fill up. We're only at 17, but it won't take long. 
for um, just gonna put coconuts and leaves in here for now. This is up to four. Keep taking. Keep all the random items in there. So what have we got on us? We have mapping charcoal. This gives us water. Stone axe, which we're gonna make have to make another one pretty soon. Now it is raining. If we go out into the rain, we will start to get the soak status. You can see in the top left there, you've got those raindrops. Now, once we get to soaked, we are liable to catch a cold, which again is not a problem because we then we just this is where we use uh, this medicine here, the hibiscus. So, what else do we want to do? Well, let's craft a couple of things. Let's go into crafting. And this time we're going to go into machines. And one thing we are definitely want to, going to want is a regular workbench. So it gives you what we're going to need here. So let's just place that in here. All right, now what did we want? Um, e interaction, place resources. So two rope, two long sticks, four small sticks. That's your four small sticks, two long sticks, I need two rope. Now the water will evaporate, so we want to make sure that we take all of it while we can. Now we are full, so that we got two fu full flasks there, uh, but there's one left, so we may as well drink it. Right, done. So we're pretty healthy on water, because we got all these give us water, we got two full flasks here, it will rain again. Meantime, we need two ropes, so let's go to to Liana. We need two of these guys. Craft. Blueprints. Rope. Done. So now that's it. We've got all of the um, space bar place resources and build. But, well, let's just go there and it's going to ruin our axe. So let's destroy that one. Confirm. And let's make another one. We do have the stone, we don't have the stick. Blueprints. Stone axe. And this all contributes to our crafting skill as well. If we had the iron axe, we wouldn't have to be doing all this. But um, we don't mind making the uh, stone axes over and over. Chance of injury 1% still filled. If it was night time, like a few moments later, that would have been 21%. So now you can see that there are a bunch of things we can make here, one of which is a weak bow. So this is something we definitely want. So let's go grab another piece of rope there. Blueprints, let's make that. Build chance of injury 1%. As soon as it goes up to 21%, then um, we don't want to be doing that. And four long sticks. There's the reason we were picking up all those long sticks. One, two, three, four. E. O. Place. Chance of injury, 21%. That's really telling us go to sleep instead. So we'll do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the episode here. And uh, we'll move on to completing the, uh, I guess, start process tomorrow. Should take a few more days, a few more in-game days before we're kind of at a point where we can look to the next stage of development but at the moment we're still doing all the basics like getting the basic crafting table in um getting our food and water situation sorted out uh, initial storage although this is as mentioned haphazard initial sleeping arrangements etc so thanks for watching hope to see you for the next episode where we will continue with our uh, development